Hello guys, Codemaker4 here. Uh, in last video we discussed how you add two binary numbers together and we also designed a logic circuit for that. And in this video we'll be building that logic circuit in Scrap Mechanic and put it into our computer. So this circuit here is what we will be building in Scrap Mechanic. It's going to be a modular circuit so we'll be putting multiple of those uh, wired in a chain. So the C in and the C out will be wired to the next and the previous circuits. Um, so as you can see there's two XOR gates, two AND gates and the OR gates. And we all have those gates in Scrap Mechanic so it's completely buildable. So now that we know what our circuit is going to look like we can start building it in Scrap Mechanic. I've already done that for the build of the computer of course but we are going to be redoing it for the sake of the video. So to make sure it wires up easily we need to we are going to have some AND gates as inputs. So we're not going to be hooking the switches directly into the circuit, but we're doing it via, via a AND gate. That we can wire it up easily and don't have to make multiple connections. Next, we add in the AND and XOR gate that are directly wired to the inputs of the numbers. Now we are also starting to hook up the very input. So we're just going to put that up there. Took it up to the extra gate. That last extra gate will be our sum. We can just hook up that. As you can see, the first bit of the sum will already work. So we can turn on exactly the odd number of bits. And it will still work. Perfect, right? And lastly, we'll be making our carry work. So, do a very light there for the carry. The AND gate will be hooked up to the carry in. And this XOR gate. And carry output will be this OR gate. So, the carry out will be on if there's uh, two or three of the inputs on. Does it matter what two or three? If it's that amount, it will be on. Otherwise, it will be off. This is a working uh, full other circuit, and we can just compact this and chain it together. Let's do that. When you compact a circuit, it's important to color the gates according to the functions, so that you can easily understand how you need to wire up the gates. Now just make sure to save this on your lift, so that you can clone multiple of them. Of course, make sure that when you save your blueprints that you have some instructions with it, and give it a name so that you can find it later. Now that we've done that, we can determine how many bits there will be for our calculator. And we'll be taking 8 bits, so we will just be spawning 8 of them. Now that that's done, we just need to weld them together. Now that everything is wired together, the colors really come in handy. We just need to make sure that we wire the carry out to the carry in of the next one. Because it will be facing like this, the right side will be the least significant bit. And the chain should be going to the left. So we wire the back gate to a right gate, just one more to the left. We do this seven times because there is eight of these modules. However, one of them is on the complete edge, so you can't really connect it to anything. Now that that's done, you can just do a last quick test by adding some switches and some form of output. Make sure that you connect both the inputs and the output correctly. Now that that's done, we can do a quick test. My favorite test is 5 plus 3, because it greatly tests the carry function. As you can see, that works great. Another way to test your carry functionality is to add in the max number, 255, and turn on the first bit. If it's that, it's fine, it's working great. You can test if it's working very great by adding a light at the end and connecting it to the carry out. This is an overflow indicator. If this is on, you have entered a way too large number in your calculator. That's probably something you don't want to do. So, just to recap. In this video we made a 
working adder in Scrap Mechanic. And in the next video, we'll be starting to visualize how our computer will really work and make a programming language for it. Uh, of course, I have already done that because the computer is already done, but I'm just going to be pretending that I haven't done it yet and still need to do it in front of the camera. I hope you have a nice day, uh, except for that I don't have a proper outro, so I'll just leave it with a bye and don't forget to subscribe and like and all that kind of shit. Bye.